Hey you guys, it's Michelle with Design Home Daily Review and I've got your daily for you and a tip of the day for you which is got a little bit of a design tip added. So, just a little treat for you today. Let's get started. Well, today's daily challenge is rustic desert heat. It's another living room. Design a living room with rustic touches for an artist desert home in Scottsdale, Arizona. I just love these rustic rooms, but uh, it's, it's really a challenge sometimes for me. Let's check it out. People come from all over the world to visit the studio of this famous regional southwestern artist who creates vibrant paintings of the landscape around her home. Well, that's kind of a clue in. They want to see paintings in this particular room if you were going to follow the instructions of the challenge. Let's check out the room itself. Well, this is my style of a house, let me tell you. I know it's just a game, but this is gorgeous. I love the fireplace, the hardwood floors, and the wood beams up here just really set it off, you know? So anyways, we do have something added to this particular challenge, and guess what it is? It's a sectional. Yay! I mean, now we can use like our, what, 50 plus sec sectionals that we have in our inventory that we keep winning as prizes. But uh, it always seems like they give us the ones that we don't want to use. <laughs> um, anyways, so, and then there's a couch. And then we have a table that goes behind the couch. And then just your normal chair but then it also has a sideboard. So this little room right here is going to stack up price-wise. So this is going to be good for anybody who was uh, fixing the level up like we went over yesterday. This is going to be one of those rooms. Let's see what everybody came up with. Here's Krista's and look what she has done here oh my goodness I just love this chair Krista it looks so nice in this room very rustic with this carpet that matches and there is that floor lamp again I gotta check out this floor lamp I'm I'm just loving this thing right here and then of course right here this table that goes behind the couch very elegant to go along with this rustic. I love it, Krista. Great job. Here's a look at Ariana's. And hey, there's this couch that we won uh, as a prize here recently. And it matches this chair off over here. Oh, I just love these. The table choice that you use, the coffee table and this little sideboard back here. It makes it all rustic come together. And you nicely put this lamp right here. Very good job, actually. There's a lot of people that will put a huge lamp right here and cover their design. So I just, I love it. You did a great job. Here's a look at Lizzie's. And again, you used kind of this, the same colors as Ariana did. But you know what? I did not realize that this little coffee table matched this little side table right here. Wow, that's a great find. And then I just love this little white uh, sideboard back here. It's just so elegant. And then you use a little burlap lamp here, floor lamp. It looks really good together. I really like it, Lizzie. Great job. Next up is Karen's, and she has chosen the black here. Uh, it looks very, very good in this room. It, it just all just flows together very well with this carpet. I don't know if I recognize this carpet. It's it's gorgeous, though. And then, of course, I love the flowers that you have. I don't know what level that is, but that just really, really sets off this room, Karen. Very nicely done, Mamacita. Great job. Next up is Sheila's. And check this new little uh, sectional out. I just love it. It is so adorable. I bought it, too. <laughs> But uh, this, I just love the carpet in here too. Perfect carpet choice for this room with this sofa. You did a great job, Sheila. Next up is Hills White. 
I don't believe we've had you on here before, Hills. Welcome. And uh, I just love your room that you've put together. I just recently got this sideboard back here, too. It's just so gorgeous. And then I noticed this was one of the new chairs offered. And then it just all flows very well together. Very nicely done. And hey, welcome to the group. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Next up is Kim's. And if I had to describe this design in one word, it would be smooth. I love this design. And look at this new couch. Oh my goodness. This new little sectional here. It matches this couch perfectly. And just every choice that you did here, girl, for this, this room right here was just perfect. I just love it. Great job. And here's a look at mine that I put together. And I tried to stay with the rustic touches. Uh, I did end up purchasing this couch as well. And uh, be glad to share that with you guys and borrow some of the other new ones <laughs> from y'all. But uh, yeah, so this is what I put together. Uh, let's get to tip of the day. And now for Bundejo's game tip of the day. This tip is from Krista. Thanks, Krista. We appreciate you. Okay, so the blue dots we all know are a requirement. You cannot push the game through unless you have selected your furniture wherever the blue dots are. Now, on the purple dots right here are optional. You guys, they're optional. So you don't have to use carpet. You don't have to place a picture at every spot that is suggested here and you don't have to use a plant um i will say this though the voters tend are, are trending more towards if you don't have something filled in those spots they kind of vote you down for whatever reason okay we'll go over that in the voting video but for the purposes of this tip let's show you what you can do whenever you're placing your furniture and your options this is used for an example. Now, I have placed a piece of furniture for all the required areas here. Okay, so what is left now are the purple circles. Here's a look at it without the circles. So, what does this look like? I have seen several designs come across voting that look like this. It is because they literally just put the required amount of furniture in there and they didn't really decorate it per se. They didn't add the little final touches to the design that brings it all together. If you are concerned with your score and you want to increase your score in the game, uh, you want to move up, you want to do better, then I would suggest you do these things. You get some plants. Those, I think, really add to the design and then if you can't really afford to purchase like all of the table art, because this required, or no, I'm sorry, doesn't require, it's saying that there's a possibility of three table arts, I would at least do one of those at the very minimum. I would not leave these three tables completely, you know, clear. So you pick at least one of the table arts and at the very minimum put something on the wall. Now, you could, in this particular design, you could leave the lamp off. It really wouldn't require a lamp be there, although it does make it look a little bit nicer to have that, as long as it's one that fits. And then the carpet in here is literally optional. Uh, I do notice, however, that voters tend to trend more towards having carpet and the louder seems to be the better, except for a couple of pieces that are extremely loud, if you follow me. So let's just take a look at the next photo here. I've put the, the plant here on this one. And then on the next one, I've added some table art right here, just behind the couch, this little thing. Now this one is good to have because it's cheap. It costs you, I believe, 150 uh, diamonds. 
because all of your table art is in diamonds. You can't pay cash for it, unfortunately, and your plants are the same. Okay, so let's see what else I've added here are the pictures. Now, do you see how the design is starting to come together? You literally have to have some form of these extras in order to complete your design. Otherwise, it's going to look bare, just like what I see people saying all the time. They'll post other people's designs while they're going through voting and say, what is this? The reason why it looks so bad is because it doesn't have all the little extra things here. Okay, um, let's see what else we got. Oh, I just wanted to show you the prices of these. The lemons are 300 diamonds, and this little aloe vera plant is 150 diamonds. So there are some that are cheap enough that you can, you know, grab just to keep on hand at the very minimum. Now I've added a lamp here. Do you see how it's starting to really change the look of this room? Just by adding this lamp right here. Now it almost covers the table art right here. So probably would go with something a little bit shorter. Then I've changed this up and added the plant over here and it just kind of evens it out because there's a plant here and pulled a plant over here. It gives it a whole different look. I mean, it's just amazing to me how it changes the look of a room. And personally speaking, I like this room just like this without the carpet. That's what it looks like right there. Now, some people will come along <laughs> and they're going to go all the same color furniture and then they're going to put the biggest lamp on the smallest table. Don't do that. Okay? That's a design tip for you today. Don't put a large lamp on a tiny table. This one would go a lot better. You see? it's You're able to see the table art here on the table, uh, the coffee table, and it just flows with this particular design a lot better. I've changed the artwork. Now this artwork up here is a lot cheaper than the other ones that were shown just a few minutes ago. I put it back to that because just to show you how much richer this looks then with the darker colors on the wall, it brings all of this together. Even though these really, you know, the blue is a little bit different. It doesn't really match. It's hard in this game to find furniture that completely matches. And here's another quick look at some carpet added with another change of art. So you can see very clearly now that um, how to change the look of your room by just adding a few pieces of art or table art or just adding the right lamp here just to bring the design together. Carpet is optional. So just remember those items are optional but just grab you a few to use in some designs to bring your designs all together. Alright you guys, I'll be back with some more for you soon. We'll talk to you later. Bye!